Reboot AI. Ooh, I absolutely love this one. Absolutely love this one. Can't remember where I got this idea. I think it's been hitting me from multiple places, but I want to build a local AI that can run offline. Oh, I know where I first heard this idea. It was actually from Joseph Thacker like a year and a half ago. He's like, oh, I just want a thing that I can use offline. But um, more recently, I get this from somewhere else. I can't, was it, was it X or Instagram? I, I don't know. But the idea is, let's say all the power is out, let, or let's say the internet is out. And let's say, um, oh, I know what, what it was. The initial conversation um, I was having with uh, Joseph, and he actually brought it to me. It was his idea. He was like, what if you could go back in time? What could you bring with you to actually move society forward or something like that? And it's like, I think about this a lot, way more than the Roman Empire. I, I think a lot about like, could I actually move science forward if I was put 200 years in the past or 2000 years in the past? What could I actually offer to them? Um, I, I think someone makes a joke about this in uh, current stand up comedy. It's like, yeah, oh, it's Nate uh, Bartsgate, <laughs> Bargatze, whatever his name is. Um, it's just like, yeah, um, there's going to be phones and uh, they're going to have satellite technology. Oh, really? What's a satellite? Well, it's this thing that goes around. Well, how do you make one? What, what does it do? You're saying there's thousands of satellites in the air and Earth is actually round. Like, can you prove anything about this? No, I can't. So you, <laughs> we, we don't know how any of this is working, right? And uh, And we can't describe it to anyone. And more importantly, if you lose the internet and there's like, say, a meteor hits or whatever, I'm not going to go into negativity right now, too early in the show for that. But um, let's say something bad happens and you are stuck in your house and there's no internet. Let's say you're not dying of hunger or thirst, but you don't have the internet. Okay, so watch this. Tourniquets, sterilizing water, building shelters, identifying edible plants. Which mushroom is actually will kill you and which mushroom can you put on a salad? These are important distinctions to make. So check this out. What if you had an AI that ran, we got to assume solar power, right? Or maybe the grid actually works, but there's no internet. Whatever, just work with me. You can show it pictures. You could take pictures or you could show it an actual live plan or whatever. All you have to do is show this AI the particular thing or you describe, hey, I need a shelter that does this. Um, I've got this much water. I got it from this kind of creek. I live in this kind of area. What kind of toxins are likely to be in it? How can I get those toxins out? What kind of filter can I build? Will these iodine tablets actually work? Um, I have these symptoms. Which drug should I take? You have a local model running. All it needs is power. It doesn't need the internet. It doesn't need open AI. Think of how much knowledge is inside of a Llama 2 or a Llama 3 or a Llama 4 or whatever local model. And as long as you have power to run it and it can actually see and you could type to it, it can answer tons of stuff that can actually keep you alive. Even better, let's go a little sci-fi. Okay, it's just you and 10,000 other people and the rest of the, let's say the rest of the planet got hit by a meteor or whatever, you have to rebuild all of society. Okay. Irrigation. How, do, how does a stoplight work? How does a combustion engine work? What kind of metal do you need to build uh, in order to make a combustion engine? What are all these different alloys? You can bootstrap a society with one box. Isn't that crazy? You can bootstrap a society with one box that you can have like sitting next to your NAS over here. You just need power. You need power. Well, I guess you need the peripherals to be able to talk to it and everything. But you don't need that much. It's way more impressive than trying to collect all of Wikipedia. I mean, that, that was the other model, right? You just download Wikipedia and you have a bunch of things you can look for. Not nearly as good as a chatbot that you can ask questions. And if it's visually oriented, like you could just, these new models are getting amazing, right? It's like, 
show me the design, show me a picture of it. Um, draw me a picture, design me, whatever, a compound that I could uh, defend my plants with, uh, because people are probably going to come and get us, whatever. Uh, yeah. I don't have any guns. How do I defend myself from these roving uh, people who are going to come try to get our stuff? You could ask it anything. Ideally it would be uncensored for that reason, right? You want to be able to ask security questions. So all that to say, I'm going to do a project called Reboot AI, with Reboot being like Reboot Society or whatever, an offline oracle for emergencies. Um, now, it's such a cool idea. I'm sure a million people have already had it, so they're probably already working on it. So if anyone is hearing this or they're reading this, um, send me a link and I'll just like go buy one and or procure one. If not, and someone wants to help build one, I'm going to go build this. I want this running in my house. I've already got solar. I've got lots of ways to gather energy and store it in batteries. And it would be super nice without internet to be able to ask all those sorts of questions. So cool. 